Moving swiftly along to question 16 then. Okay. Question 16. Sketch the graph of y equals f of x, which is x squared plus 2x minus 15. Okay, and g of x is equal to 6 minus 2x sketch on the same axis. Find the coordinates of any points of intersection and write down set values where f of x is greater than g of x. Okay, then let's have a set of axes okay and we need to put on to a uh, set of axes uh, y uh, x a uh, set of arrows and now we need to see where things are okay so already i can see that this is going to be down on the minus 15 scale okay so what i'm thinking is i will do 5 10 15 going up that way minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, that way. Looking at the intersections of where this f of x crosses y-axis, I'm just going to quickly solve it on the calculator. So 1, 2, and minus 15 on the calculator. Give me x equals 3 and x equals minus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5. Okay, being a sketch, it doesn't need to be much more than that. Okay, so it's a quadratic and it's coming through here and it's probably coming down about there and coming back up that way because we've got a distance of eight there one two three four lowest point about here somewhere so comes through like that that should go through the three okay and this side is coming up here terrible when you can't even hit your own points and that's going through the minus 5. OK. And that's f of x. This point is going to have 6. And it's going to be a straight line coming through minus 2. Then no, no, well, next is when the y is 0. OK. We're going to be coming through at 3 as well. So we're going to have a straight line coming through here at 3 and 6. And this one is g of x. g of x. OK. There's the sketch done. So with the sketch done, I can see that one of the points of intersection is x equals 3. And the other point of intersection is going to have to be smaller than minus 5. So let's just quickly put these two together and solve them simultaneously. So x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 6 minus 2x. So x squared... Uh, bringing that across becomes plus, so plus 4x, um, minus 21 equals 0, so we get x equals and x equals uh, straight into the calculators for solving the quadratic, okay, um, minus 21. And we get x is equal to 3, as predicted, and x is equal to minus 7. 
which tallies with the picture that we have drawn here. Okay, find the coordinates of intersection. So we were looking for the coordinates of points of intersection. So we just need to find the y values that go with these ones. Um, and so we know that this one is going to be y equals zero, meaning we can do the coordinate of three, zero, no problem. For this one, we can say that y is equal to six minus two times minus seven, which means y equals six plus 14, y equals 20, giving us the coordinate of minus seven, 20. Okay, finally, write down the set of values of x for which f of x is bigger than g of x. Okay, so anything up here is bigger than g of x, and if this was to come up here on the intersection and continue like this, okay, anything here would also be bigger than g of x. Okay, which means we can pretty well write down the solution to that straight off, and we can say that x is going to be anything smaller than minus 7, okay, and also that x is going to be greater than 3. And that's it for question 16.